What is going on everyone? It's RJ here from Backyard Sprouts. And in today's video, we are gonna show you guys how we plant Rambo Radish Microgreens all the way from start to finish. Hang on tight, it's gonna be quite a journey, but it's gonna be awesome information. And that is all coming up next. All right, so the first step in growing radish microgreens is obviously planting them. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna grab a tray and we're gonna go ahead and fill it with some soil down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get some seed from our bin and then we'll water it and then we'll put it into blackout phase. All right, first thing we do is grab ourselves a tray, put some soil, grab our tool, and we are just gonna break down any major clumps of soil. Try and even them out as much as you can. Spread it evenly amongst the tray. That looks good. Stick our tamper, set it on top. Push it, push it down. And what that does is it levels it out, nice and compact, soil isn't all loose. We do is we water it, give it ample water. Okay, what we do is we get some radish seeds. Let's take a scoop. And then we just distribute them. As we've stated in previous videos, we've done several hundred of these already. So it is super easy for Alex and I to kind of just eyeball this. We know the correct densities. We know how it looks like. We used to take it to the scale and we would measure it perfectly. Two ounces of radish, one ounce of broccoli, three ounces of spicy salad. But after a while, you're able to eyeball the densities just fine. Once that's been done, take our spritzer and we'll go ahead and mist it. Give it a good, good mist. This ensures good germination. And then we take it to be stacked. Let's hope I don't drop this. I'm doing this with one hand. Oh man. Crap. And to conserve actually guys on trays and weights, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on top of this rather than using up another tray and some more, some more weights. It's all about efficiency. And there you go. Okay, so we've spoken in the past the importance of stacking your micros during its blackout phase. Very, very important. Don't forget to do this step. Uh, does a couple things. One, it ensures really good soil to seed contact ratio. That doesn't even make sense. It ensures good seed to soil contact at all times. Because when they get, when they start to sprout and there's no, there's no weight on top of it, there's a video of this one guy that uh, does an experiment with stacked versus unstacked. And what he sees with the unstacked is all the microgreens, because they're so densely seeded, that they just start pushing the other seeds above the soil, which then of course kills germination, kills a, kills a sprout altogether. So this ensures that it remains contact in the soil, all even, all nice. And then not only that, it really, forces them to establish some really good roots, some really good strong stems. So stacking, always a good idea. This here is our spicy salad. Right here is the middle is the buckwheat and here down here is the radish that we just planted. So the next step after that is we're just gonna leave it stacked. Radish tends to stay in the blackout phase for about three to four days. And of course that varies between your region, your temperature, you know, how humid it is, how dry it is. 
So all these, all these play a role, all these play a factor in how long these, these stay here. Just keep an eye on them. When you see them start sprouting out from the side and you'll see when the time comes, I'll show you guys. When you see them sprouting from the sides, they're ready to go. That means they're, they're ready to get un, unstacked and ready to go into the lights. So the next, next step here is just pretty much unstacking them in a few days and I'll show you how get, guys how to water them and we'll continue going on. Watering your Rambo Radish microgreens. All you need is a little canteen thing. And I just pretty much, when I water them, ooh, I go in zigzag formation. The important thing with watering guys is you have to water your Rambo Radishes twice a day. Not once, twice a day. If you do not, they start to look weak, they start to topple over, and they just look like garbage, okay? So don't ever, ever skimp on watering. These guys are actually about ready to get harvested. So take a look. This is easily about three, three and a half, four inches now. So I'll probably give them about another day, then I'll harvest them. All right, you guys, next up is harvesting radish. Radish has always had a very popular color. They just stand out. This is Rambo radish. Same thing. Let's go ahead and take your sharp knife. Same as any other micro. Okay, we grab a handful, like we're grabbing a bunch of hair. We're gonna cut downward and let the knife do the trick, okay? You, the knife has to do all the work here. If you can't cut it like this and it's not cutting anything, your knife is not sharp enough. And that is very dangerous. Always, always make sure you have a very sharp knife. Now, when I start packaging these, make sure that they are standing upright because it looks nice and pretty. Aesthetically, it looks better in a packaging, so. Stand these micros upright. There you go. Nice Rambo radishes, four ounce. Next up is the packaging and adding the label to the radish microgreens. Obviously, you guys have seen the spicy salad video before. Uh, this is my little media setup that I have here, which is super nice. It's where I do a lot of my video editing and photo editing from Affinity. I use, if you guys are interested in the software I use, I use Final Cut Pro for my video editing, and then I use Affinity Photo for my video, I'm sorry, my photo editing, okay? But after you've harvested your radish microgreens, what we are going to do next is get it ready for uh, delivery. So the final touch is adding a label. So we'll go ahead and double click on the radish label. And just go to print. I got four of these, so about a pound going this week. I'll hit print. And it prints from our brother QL800 printer. As you can see, this thing spits out labels ultra quick. Okay. So we went ahead and printed some of the labels. So we're gonna go ahead and package two, four <laughs> Rambo radishes today. So we're gonna take our, our label, we're gonna peel them. As you saw, that Brother QL label that we use is ultra, ultra fast, which is good. You're not sitting there waiting for labels on days on end. And remember, when you guys are putting labels on your micros, Take the time to make sure it's nice and straight, you guys. All right. I've yelled at myself and I've yelled at Alex 
when it comes to stuff like this because we are our own quality assurance. If our work looks sloppy, you remember, this is, this is our reputation. This is our name. This is our business on the line. And you don't want them to be like, oh my gosh, Backyard Sprouts doesn't care enough. Their labels are crooked. If they don't take the time to make sure that their labels are straight, what else are they not taking the time on doing, right? So make sure you guys keep this stuff good. There you go. A fully packaged, fully labeled, gorgeous, radish microgreen. And again, it's super important when you guys are packaging these that the micros are standing straight up. You want them as easy as, as, easy as possible for the chefs to grab and garnish their dish. You don't want them sorting it out, untangling the micros. Remember I've yelled in previous videos how they how we used to package them. I'm kind of ashamed, but you know, it was a learning process. We weren't as legit, if you know what I mean. But that's it, you guys. That is how you package and grow my these radish Rambo. <laughs> it's like super late right now, all right? Cut me some slack. Anyways, it's like 10 o'clock. It's always 10 o'clock here when I'm planting and doing all these things. All right, so that is how you grow Rambo radishes from start to finish. We went ahead and showed you how to plant them. We showed you how to unstack them from blackout. We showed you how to water them. Just water them with normal canteens. Make sure you water them twice a day, once in the evening, once in the morning. It's always important. I will always drill this every single crop focus video that I do. All right, because if you don't water them, if you skip out on it, if you only water them once a day, you'll notice that your micros go from straight up to weak. They start to topple, they start to sag, start to sog, whatever the word is. And then they start to look weak. And now all of a sudden you don't have fresh microgreens. That's your fault. <laughs> After you water them, then you go ahead and harvest them using that sharp knife. Make sure you guys have a super sharp knife. Make sure it does all the work for you. If you find yourself struggling with that knife, it is not sharp enough. Be careful. It is dangerous if you have a dull knife. All right. Um, and then once you package them into your containers, you'll go ahead and print out some labels and you slap those labels onto these microgreens and they look pretty and ready to go. This is the kind of stuff you can be proud of showing to and bringing to chefs and restaurants, all right? I've told you guys in other crop focus videos that Alex and I have a reputation in Charlotte, North Carolina of having the freshest microgreens and freshest product and more superior product than all the other competition. It is not that we do anything crazy. It's not that we sprinkle the fountain of youth water on our, on our micros. We use organic soil and we harvest them and we're strictly grow to order. Okay, so we have our dates, we have our timing down to where these things are ready to go the day before. So they have the longest longevity and lifespan and shelf life as possible. You guys already heard our spiel and how we think, you know, these other microgreen growers are doing their business. And and you don't you, you can't fault them. We're not talking smack about them, but they are way way bigger than Alex and myself. So that means they have a much bigger farm, they have a much bigger production, which um all that means is they can't grow to order. They just mass produce these things and then they just shove them in a cooler somewhere and waiting for an order to fill. So that could be days, it could be weeks, you never know, right? They're all in the cooler and they go, oh, we need four radishes, four radishes, go into the cooler, bring them out, right? Ours are strictly grow to order. That is something we pride ourselves on and that is something we've heard from high level executive chefs from high end restaurants that we supply for here, tell us over and over and over. A lot of chefs have had fears about microgreens, we partnered with Lisa, as you guys know, and she said she's had a bad experience with microgreens growing, going bad within days. That's crazy. Our product lasts weeks, weeks. So that means that 
I just can't imagine how long that has been sitting in the cooler for if it's it were to die within weeks. So you we hear horror stories all the time and it is our job to educate them and re-educate them and tell them all the time that, hey, we apologize for any past experiences that you have, but we have an insane track record of executive chefs telling us that our product lasts weeks, literally weeks. So yeah, that should be it. Let's close this sucker out. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. You guys already know we are trying to build a community here of like minds. So we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already because it totally helps the channel out. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote our channel to people that are wanting to grow microgreens and wanting to learn about the microgreen business. So it'll totally help out if you haven't already. Uh, we do love everyone that's been supporting us so far. It's just been super, super awesome. 2020 has been going insanely well. Um, so keep it up. If you guys have any questions, just please post them in the comments section below. If you guys want to reach out, just hit us up on our Instagram or on our YouTube. But other than that, I think, I think we're good. Hope you guys enjoyed that crop focus on Rambo Radish microgreens. These are one of our premium items just because it's one of the more expensive seeds, but they are also one of the prettiest looking microgreens. So yeah, other than that, if you guys have any questions, you know how to contact us. And other than that, we will catch you guys.